Hi, I'm Mary Helen Bowers, founder of Valley Beautiful, and I'm really excited to talk to you guys today about the proper placement for your Valley Beautiful bridge work. Bridge is one of my favorite exercises, and we have many, many variations. I love it because it helps us tone and target and strengthen the inside of the legs. It's great for your inner thighs. It builds core strength, but it's also an incredible workout for your hamstring and your butt. So it's one of my favorite ways to blast those ballet beautiful muscles. And when we're doing our bridge, we'll come down on our mat. Now, I really like um, to work with my feet and demi point because it gives me more height and lift, which makes the workout more challenging. So if I'm pulling in tight with the stomach, I'm lifting up onto my toes, I have a bigger range of motion to lower and lift, that's gonna make it more challenging. If you're not used to Ballet Beautiful or you're just getting started, and even if you don't have much dance experience, you may wanna start with your heels flat, and that's totally fine. You're still gonna get a great workout. For myself, I find, particularly because I'm tall, that if I have my heels down flat, it's gonna let me zone in and really focus on squeezing, toning, and engaging the muscles in my butt and my thighs, which is good, but if my heels are too close, to my butt, it cramps through my knees and I can't get a proper lower and lift. So when I'm keeping my heels flat, a lot of times I'll walk my feet slightly away from my hips, a little more than I might do if I were up on my demi point. If you are doing the bridge and you're feeling fatigue and a burn through your calves, if you're up on your demi point, that's a good cue for you to stop, to take stretch, lower the feet, because these exercises are designed to target all of these muscles through the inside of the butt, the thighs, and your core, not to strengthen your calves. Your calves should not be doing the work. It's the lowering and the lifting of the hips and the thighs that's really um, what we're focusing on here with the bridge exercise. So if you're feeling that burn through your calves, definitely drop the feet and reset. Sometimes with bridge work, we'll start very often with the heels together and the knees together. And these are great exercises, this very like classic bridge position because it's going to engage through your inner thighs, which I love. When you're doing the bridge from any position, you wanna make sure that you don't have any sort of arch in your back. You wanna pull in tight so you're always engaging that core and pushing the pelvis up to the ceiling. So for this beginning starting position with the heels together, the knees together, as you lower and lift, you wanna keep sticking those knees together, squeezing as you get to the top because it's gonna help you to engage through your inner thighs. When we're doing an exercise, I'm just gonna do a little release here. An exercise with the hips open, what I'm thinking of is less like to the edge of your mat and more, it's more about the width of your own hips. So hip width apart for those feet, whether the feet are flat, whether you're lifted up, to your demi point for lowering and lifting. The stomach is engaged, you're pushing the pelvis high, and you never have that arch in the back. A lot of times I'll drop the knees together as I lower, I'll open, we'll work through a variety of positions here, back to parallel, whatever it is for how we're targeting those muscles and the butt and the thighs. You wanna have a nice stable base through your abs and through your back. Now, sometimes with bridge work, I'll also do what I call an extended bridge where we walk the feet further away. And in this position, you almost want to go to the point where it feels like you're too far, <laughs> that you couldn't lift up um, with your hips. So you want to pull the tummy in tight. I'm starting here with my feet together and my knees together. And I'm going to keep those knees closed as I lift because as I said, we're trying to engage through our inner thighs in this position. So just lowering and lifting here, it feels very far away. It's really challenging and it's actually working much more through the back of the thighs um, in addition to the butt, which is really nice. So when you open those thighs up, you're getting a butt, a great butt workout, but you're also really, really toning through your hamstrings. So all of that is really fun. When we're moving into any bridge work that's on one foot, same thing. I think your placement and positioning is even more important. And this is a place where I often encourage people, um, if you're not as far along with your ballet with beautiful workouts, you may wanna try this with the foot flat to get started as you build that strength 
and stability through the ankle. You don't want to have wobbling, you shouldn't be shaking, and you shouldn't have any fatigue in your calves. All of the stress and the tension of the exercise should be in your core, through the butt, and through the thighs. So those are a few tips for your Valley Beautiful bridge work. I can't wait to see you at our next workout.